Hey, and welcome. Um, my name is Graham. I look after design for Argent. You've hopefully seen some of the stuff that um, I've done and also the rest of my team's done. Um, but today I want to talk about, about Dapland um, and what we're doing and why why we built Dapland uh, and what our perspective is on it um, and some of the new features that we've uh, just released. So I'm going to dive straight into it. Um, Let's have a look here. Okay, so this is Dapland. Now, what we built Dapland because um, there were a couple of other ecosystem uh, portals, eco sort of app stores for Starknet, um, but we felt that the they were lacking something in terms of um, some of the some of the things that you would want to see really about Dap discovery, um, and it wasn't just about categories, but it's also about reputation. Um, and and really kind of presenting the DAP as well as they could possibly be presented as well. Uh, so we want to ensure that everyone can find the best Starknet DAPs. Uh, we we felt that um, we also wanted to integrate that quite tightly actually into Argent X and help people because the DAP discovery is one of the problems that people face. You can install a wallet, um, but then what do you do with it? So Dapland is our answer to that question. Um, and when we first built Dapland, we had just a kind of a bunch of categories and the Daps that um, we could we found on and around the place. We built some relationships with them and slowly this ecosystem is growing. There's some very cool stuff uh, on here. And if you haven't used Starknet yet, um, I really strongly recommend that you do because the things that you can do on Starknet versus Ethereum are quite different, um, gaming especially because you're not limited by the uh, Ethereum virtual machine um, in the same way that some other uh, networks and EVM networks are, even though it's fully secured, Starknet is fully secured by Ethereum as a ZK rollup. Um, so let me just kind of click into one of these dApps. So, I mean, Aspects a NFT marketplace. I'm going to look at Brick. Brick's a really interesting dApp. It's kind of a game and um, NFT minting site and sort of almost uh, like a, a voxel generator so if you've ever liked playing something like um, Minecraft, then you'll probably like Brick. Um, and on here, so we've we've had this basic setup with a banner at the top, um, logo and, and DAP information. Um, but recently what we've added is we've added the ability to rate the DAP. So you can, using your Argent X wallet, you can connect to uh, the DAP land. Um, and in order to rate the DAP, you actually have to have used Starknet. So you have to have a deployed wallet. Um, and then you connect and rate, and you connect your account, and then you sign a message to rate the DAP, um, and it will updap, update the DAP rating uh, once that message goes through. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it's taking a while to sign, but um, uh, let's try that again in a sec. I'll try that again. So let's see if this works this time. Um, as you can see, it does work because other people have been rating the DAP. So I'll leave that for now. I'm not sure what's going on, but um, so then if we look at the other things, so if it's an NFT collection, you can have, uh, you can see the NFT collection, you can see the number of owners, the number of items, the floor price, volume, um, and, a, and a sample of those images as well. You can click to explore the full collection on aspect. Um, and get a sense of the other things that people are creating uh, using bricks. Um, and some of the other interesting stuff is that we do things, and this is this is where kind of Argent's perspective on uh, app stores comes in. And I think for those of you who have been with Argent for a while or known about us, we take uh, reputation and security very, very seriously. Um, and so some of the things that we believe are useful to ascertain the quality of a project, we've started to include here. So audits, especially if a project is audited, um, we've added that state in here and you can actually filter by that and I'll show you that in a minute. But you can actually go and view the full audit for a DAP and that enables you to do kind of some quite deep uh, research on the safety of these things. You can look at the DAP contracts as well. Um, you can see if the team is a public team or like a doxed team or a or an anonymous team, 
Um, it's not necessarily kind of an indicator of safety. You know, you can have you can have public teams which um, have problems, and you can have a non teams which are t perfectly legitimate. But it is another indicator of um, of sort of something you might be interested in. A token info: if you're airdrop hunting, you might be interested in this information. Brick does not yet have a token. Um, they haven't announced if they will have one, but you never know. Um, and you got the newsletter and stuff. If you want to know more about this, by the way, sign up to that newsletter as well. So, um, but let me go back to the homepage because you can see then how you might search for things. So the categories are here are kind of self-explanatory, really. You have NFTs and games and bridges and stuff. Um, but you can also check for things like verified contracts um, or if the app is audited, what the user rating has been for that DAP. So we can look, for example, at the contracts that are verified. And what a verified contract is, um, is when the source code for a contract has been uploaded and published to Etherscan, or in this case, Starkscan um, or Voyager. And you can then check that that code is actually the code that is deployed on the blockchain. Um, so it's verified that the, the code matches the actual deployed code. And that's very useful so that you can inspect um, and check that it's doing what you expect it to do. Uh, it's a big safety feature. Um, so knowing if a contract is verified is very important, actually, when you're trying to research the safety um, and the quality of projects. And these are currently the um, verified dApps that we have on Dapland. We've done that work um, to kind of check for you. So we've done a bit of a kind of curation. Um, if there are dApps on here, if any of you dApps, uh, dApp teams are watching and your contracts are verified and you're not on this list, please let us know and we will get that updated ASVP. Um, but you can see that Brick Carbonable, which is a really super interesting dApp, actually, that's um, where you can invest in uh, carbon credits in various places. You can see the kind of NFTs you get and, and stuff, but they're audited and um, uh, verified and Starknet ID and Pixels and Jedi Swap and, and some other cool stuff. I um, mean, you can further filter down to based on kind of reputation and stuff to see what people are, uh, uh, what people actually think of these dApps. Um, so these are some of the new features we've brought in. Your ability to connect. We think I actually think this is really interesting as well because you know you have Web two services like Trustpilot. Um, and others you know anything where you can rate and really those are based on they're often not verified ratings so you may rate something like amazon is famous right for having a lot of ratings that are just fake or bots um and what's interesting about on chain ratings is that you can do a check. For example, in future, we don't currently do this, but in future we could actually check, have you used Brick? Have you minted a, um, a Brick set? And if you have, then you're allowed to rate. If you haven't, actually you haven't fully used the DAB and so you maybe you're not allowed to rate or maybe your rating is weighted differently. Um, so there are some really interesting things you can do through on-chain checks to confirm the uh, authenticity really of your rating in a way that you can't do in the web 2 world um, and so we believe that that over time will become a very powerful and, and probably a standard tool that we use that we see more and more in app stores um, which is why we've implemented it now as we start to experiment with those things so we're going to be integrating um, that bland or linking that bland into argent x so you can find it you'll see more about it um, over time and uh, yeah, at, if you're a DAP and you're not on here, please um, go to our GitHub, which is Argent Labs on GitHub slash DAPland and open a PR a pull request to submit your DAP information. Um, and we'll get you added as soon as possible as well, because we, we really want this to be the go-to for the StarkNet ecosystem. Um, and there's one final thing really to talk about, and that is that we have this widget as well. So a bit like you've probably seen on Again, um, uh, Trustpilot or on other places like TripAdvisor, there's, there are these widgets where you can actually share your rating. I mean, you can embed that into your to any page, really. It's super simple to do. It's an iframe, a little snippet that we have at the bottom here. You can copy and paste this snippet um, and drop it into your website, and then you'll get your rating appearing here. 
So, um, and that will help us to share the word about Starknet and Dapland. It will also help you to share your, um, you know, where people can discover you and rate you. So I encourage you to share that with all of your audiences um, and users so that they get rating and you boost your um, your presence on Dapland. And then we have, a, we have a bunch of other ideas of what we're going to be doing in future as well to further promote the dapps, the best dapps on Dapland. So um, the more effort you can put into uh, getting people rating your DAP and adding your content, updating it, making sure that it's top notch on DAP land, then um, I think you'll benefit in future from some of the things that we have planned for this. So um, yeah, I think that's about it. Please, as I say, come and add your DAP, um, check it out. If you find any bugs or have any feedback, you would like to see extra features, we would love to hear from you. Um, and uh, yeah. I think I think that's it really. So um